Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to do a comparison of the nibs on the Palette Custom A23. I have here a fine, a medium, and a broad. And I'll also talk a little bit about the nibs on my Custom 74. This one has a medium fine and my Custom 743. This one has a soft fine, so I will talk about those as well. So this is for anyone that's um, on the fence about the Palette Custom A23 and you're not sure which nib is best for you. I did a similar review um, or discussion on the um, Daily E95S. So I'm going to try to do the same with these. And if you're interested, I actually can do a review of all of my palette uh, pins if you like. Just let me know if you want to do that. But I'm going to get started here. So first up, this is the fine. And this was the second 823 that I bought. The first one was the medium. So that's the fine nib. The feet. So this is a fine 14 karat gold nib. And the ink that I have in here is um, Palette Iroshizuku Kompeki. Somewhat wet. It does, it does flex, but definitely not one that I would, I would push. Not very great in reverse, but otherwise it's um, very nice, very trustworthy pen. You know it's going to start up. This one is pretty, pretty low in ink, but it has been inked for a while. So that's the fine point. And the medium, which is my favorite of the three. And this this one is amber. And this is the, I guess, the black smoke. And all of these are back fillers. So we have medium. 14 karat gold. And the ink in here. It's also Palette de Roshizuku. And this is Argy Sai, which has been, um, I had another ink in here before that I, I've mentioned before that I didn't like, and I switched over to Argy Sai, and I haven't um, turned back. At some point I will put another, I think a good red ink, maybe um, Yamabuda would be good in this. So, Another, it's a pretty spongy nib, but again, I just, I wouldn't push it. Reverse is not very good. But this, very wet and it's very, very smooth. Very smooth writer. So, this is A23 in medium. And I do, for whatever reason, keep the stickers on these. One, it helps to tell them apart. So this is the broad nib. And this was part of my Christmas birthday haul. Still has quite a bit of ink in it. So this is broad, 14 karat. And the ink in here is Birmingham Pen Company, Angelfish. And since this is a broad nib, I figure it could handle um, the viscous Birmingham Pen Company, Angelfish. Also somewhat spongy, but definitely not, definitely not flexy. Scratching in reverse. So these are these three. So 
So that's the fine point. I think that's a nice fine. I did have to smooth it just a tiny, tiny bit. And that's the medium, which is probably in the top two or three nibs in my collection. And that's the beautiful angelfish with the broad nib. And typically I don't buy broad nibs, but I figured this would feel more like a medium. And it does pretty much feel like a, a thick medium. So I'm just gonna do a couple writing samples with this. This is the Palette Custom 74. This is a 30th anniversary model that came with the different colored bodies. And this one also needs some tuning. I did tune it a little bit, um, but it still feels like it needs a little bit more. This is definitely not my favorite of the of the five. So this is a medium fine, and it's diamond sepia in here. You can hear the the feedback. It definitely has potential. I just need to give the nib some attention. And some nice, nice flex to it. But firm at the same time. Nothing in reverse. So, so wetness. So that's a custom 74. Next, we have the Custom 74, 743, which to me looks pretty much like the A23s. It's just that this is a cartridge converter filler. And I have the Con 70 in here. Just nice. A nice palette converter, I think. So, palette, custom. And this is a soft fine. You can hear Loop Not Diamond. It's Palette Roshizuku Sukio. And being a soft fine, you do get nice amount of line weight variation and reverse not really so i did do a forehand i did a little comparison on paper so you see the the fine um it's not a bad fine line. It's just, it looks like to me like a, a large extra fine. And then you have the medium, which feels like a medium to me. And the broad just feels a little, just a little tad bit thicker than that medium. And I knew that buying it, that it was going to be about like that. And I knew that I would, I would like that. And so the 30th anniversary, 74. Um, kind of, it's kind of on the fine side. I don't see very much medium there. It looks pretty much like the fine. And the 74, which is soft fine. Um, yeah, it's pretty much along the the fine. But when once you start pushing it, you can see that it gets uh, around the, the medium. And then down here, I just did them all side by side so you can see how they compare. And um, it's really not that much of a difference between the medium and the broad. So the thinness looks like this medium fine and then the fine and then the soft fine right there. And then the medium and then the broad. Although in here, for some reason, the medium actually looks a little bit broader, but not much of a difference um, between them. Uh, if you, you know, if you're torn, 
Um, I would definitely recommend you know, the fine medium or the broad um, if you're you know, if you're wanting to spend on all three, just find them on sale or, or whatever. But I, I recommend all, all of all of these. I don't really recommend, can't really highly recommend this 74 in the medium fine. But these and the 743, I definitely um, enjoy those. So that's all I had for... This, this comparison if you want me to, to if you want me to dive into anything a little bit deeper let me know but I just want this to be kind of a quick overview of the line weights and the comparison of uh, these pilot 820 74 ish um, type pens um so that's all I have oh no not all I have I have my I still have my Yoseka log can't forget about the Yoseka log so here's the A23 fine in the Yoseka log. And I said it's a little toothy. It's better after smoothing. And I think this is a good journaling and sketchy pen. Very, very reliable, very comfortable. Then the medium, and you can see on this paper, it's quite a bit thicker. Um, for this one, I said it was, what did I say for the line weight? I said it was a 0.35. And it's on this paper. It may differ on other paper. Softness te testing. I said super smooth. It's my top one or two nib. It's always a joy to write with. And it's never been uninked. And line weight, a uh, line width of 0 0.5. And the broad, you see the beautiful angelfish with the red sheen. I said it's super smooth. It feels very similar to the medium. It feels like a thick medium, very nice, especially with this ink. And I said the line width is a 0 0.65 millimeter. Pilot Custom 74 30th anniversary. I said it's a 0 0.4 line width. It's a medium fine. A little bit of a flexi there. I says toothy, somewhat dry, overall nice, not my favorite palette, but okay, has a nice size. And lastly, we have the Palette Custom 743, soft fine, and Sukiyo. It is soft, you can see there with the long way variation. I said it has pleasant feedback, comfortable. This is also a good journaling, journaling pen and has a little flex. And line weight again, 0 0.4 millimeter. And in my transcriptions on my black and red paper, the paper here that I used um, was for these was Rhodia dot grid paper. And now we're in the black and red paper. So this is the Pilot Custom A23 Fine with the comb pecky. Um, this is right hand. And I said it feels nice with the left hand. This is where the left hand started. And I think I wrote with my left hand for the rest of the time. So you can see it's a nice, this is good for journaling, for taking notes. It's a nice, um, fairly smooth, a little feedbacky pen to write with and then we get super smooth and a little bit thicker here when we go to the medium 14k so there's the medium it's a it's a good pen but maybe not the best pen for something like this i prefer fines when i'm taking notes or, or journaling or something like that. Then the broad, which is beautiful in this paper. It's a beautiful ink to, to look at. So this was, I think I, stick, I stuck with my left hand. And I think all of this is, I just step, kept writing with my left hand here. I sprained my thumb, so I was taking a break on the thumb. But 
as you can see here, not much of a difference between the, the broad and the medium. But I think that's it. So that's all I had for this comparison video. Again, as always, I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you all for watching and for subscribing. I have a lot of new subscribers. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Till next time, everyone take care.